10, we're giving this coordinate grid with the shapes P and Q on it. Um, and we're asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle P onto triangle Q. And these type of questions are so frequent, it would be a huge mistake to not know your transformations for the exam. And the other thing to pay attention to in this question is that there are two marks going for it. I'll just write it down here. Two marks going for this question because that will give me some idea of how much information I need to give. So I want to uh, describe a transformation that maps me from P onto Q. Now you could you could trace P, if you will, or if you like, and there it is there, there's triangle P, traced. You would obviously use tracing paper. And hopefully we can see that triangle P and triangle Q, well, it certainly hasn't been a rotation because the shape hasn't been turned. It hasn't been a reflection because the shape hasn't been flipped. And it's not bigger and it's not smaller, so it can't be an enlargement. Therefore, it must be the other type of transformation. So, the other type of transformation is a translation, and that's a movement. So, how is it moving? It goes one, this is going to be temperamental, two, three, four, five, six right, and then one down. So, that's how we get from P to Q. It goes six right one down, and this type of transformation is a translation, along the vector, and we said it goes six right and one down, how do I use, how do I describe that using a vector? Six on the top and then negative one on the bottom. So six to the right and one down, and that will get us our two marks. One mark for translation, one mark for our vector.